post is about three feet deep. We dug a hole and then we'll throw the dirt in. So that's about that far down yeah. on the shovel. Second post is in. I'm gonna start putting dirt around the post and tamping it in. The next step is we're going to drill a couple pilot holes uh, for the brace and then uh, put these flag bolts in in the corner. Start it with a hammer and use a ratchet or whatever you have to tighten. This is how you um, make the loop to tie the guide wire. It's wrapping around one side. Do the same on the other side. That's what it looks like when it's done. And the next step is grab some sticks, tighten everything up. Just wrap it around until it's good and tight one side and this will kind of hold it from unwrapping and do the same on the other side So then we created another corner post on the other end of where the fence is going. And it's important to run the main metal brace to the top on the side you're going to be pulling. And he's adding a staple right by the barb to hold it. Next step is to carry to roll the roll a barb wire down to between the two corners that you just built. So now we've rolled out the wire for the first strand. And now we'll cut it a little bit long, so then we can wrap it around and wrap it like we did on the other end just a minute ago, and then we'll staple it. the wires above the fence puller. Nope. A little too tight. And run. So then we 
sure the wire is in. Make sure it's good and tight so it doesn't slide. Pull the fence puller on the edge of the post. Just make sure the post, the puller is below where the wire is going to be. And then, yeah, tighten it up. Hopefully you have a little newer fence puller than we do. not in the video. Alright Ron, I'll uh, we pulled it tight and then we just to get the last little bit you put the hammer claw on the end then you just pull it with that and then somebody else puts a staple in just to make sure you don't lose what you've gained. Now we'll put a second staple in on the back side right in front of the Now he's just wrapping the wire around there. Always wear gloves in this situation. We actually recommend red brand wire. There's another brand that's Gaucho, but the red brand seems to last a lot longer. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive, but recommend it. out how far apart you put your post we put them like kind of three like uh, strides apart so one two three and then we'll pound the post in a little bit and then you repeat that the whole length of the fence so we've got our posts laid out every three strides apart and then we're going to use this post pounder uh, to put the posts in and then whatever side your cattle are on you want the the post to be on the opposite side so our cattle are where i'm standing and they'll be pushing against the fence so that's the side you want the post to be on. So you slide your post pounder over the top, put it up against your wire, and then you can see this stabilizer that needs to be buried in the ground, and that that's when you know how far your how deep how far your post is in, and that it's in properly. So. So buried, good, and then repeat for all your posts the clip it just goes on the post and then you grab the wire with your uh, fencing tool and then just spin it around it's tight and then you do the same on the other side just to make sure it's not going to come off so that's yeah so now we've got the third uh, string of wire up and this one we're only going to do four strings but you can do four or five, depending on what you, kind of animals you have uh, in the fence. But so we just put the last uh, strand on, so this section of fence is done. Four strand barbed wire fence, put on in probably three hours maybe, something like that. How long across, you, how many feet do you think it is? Um, oh, I don't know, maybe 100 yards or something like that.